All right, friends. So what you're gonna need for this project, you're gonna need a piece of copy paper. You're gonna need a Sharpie. You're gonna need a variety of marker colors, just regular old markers. You can use crayons if you don't have markers. Um, think bright colors like Jen Stark uses. And you're gonna need a pair of scissors. So Sharpie, markers or crayons, scissors, piece of copy paper. First thing you want to do is you want to fold your paper like you are going to make a card. So you want to make sure that you match the corners up, hold it in the middle, press down across the middle, squeeze it in the middle, and go from the middle out. And if you do that, really press down hard, you will always have a nice even edge. Okay, so just like you're making a card. Now we're gonna turn it this way. And you can open that back up. You'll still see that line. And only on the top of the paper, that's where we're gonna put our design. And we're gonna make them drippy like, like Jen Stark. So I'm gonna start with my Sharpie and I'm just gonna make just a random design, okay? And I'm going to double up the line because I want to make a really thick black line. And I'm gonna leave that because I'm gonna color to color. But maybe it's too big, so maybe I need another little section in there. And I'm going to make sure that I'm coloring very neatly, staying inside the lines. of shapes and I'm going to fill I'm not going to fill the whole top part of this I want it to just go across the top half okay when you are finished with your black designs you're gonna go in with all your colors and you're gonna start filling in these areas with color. Now you wanna take your time, try to stay inside those lines, even though it's black lines, you don't wanna color over them because you can see the marks that are made with these markers. I might leave some areas black and white, but otherwise, I'm gonna fill this in with color. So we've gotten this much done. We're gonna fold it again, but this time, we're gonna fold it long ways, like this. Make sure your corners match up. Go to the middle, crease it, and go from the middle to the ends. So now you have a piece of paper that's in fours, okay? With my design at the top, I'm gonna take my scissors, and you see this section right here. Here's my middle. Here's this bottom fold dividing these two. Okay, we've got four quarters. One, two, three, four. 
these two at the bottom are separated by this fold line. On that fold line, I'm gonna cut till I get to that center line. Very carefully, right on the fold line. Okay, then I'm going to lift at the top part of my paper up. Now, let me see if I can get this to where you can see it better. I'm gonna lift the top part of my paper up. I'm going to take, see it's already wanting to do it. I'm gonna take this bottom half and I'm gonna pull it over the top like so. Okay. And we have created a little room that stands by itself and looks like some of those rooms that we saw like Jen Stark creates. So I don't know if you've seen any of those little, um, they're called mini somethings. They come in a little ball and you open them up and they have like little mini groceries and stuff. Now they have little mini toys. You could, this could be a place to keep your little mini toys. It's your own little room that has your own little Jen Stark mural painted on it. Okay. When you're finished, send me a picture.